recording. So this is somewhat low frame rate because I haven't optimized it, but you get the general idea. What I'm looking at is a hunk of ArcGIS data for just under the ocean for a drilling platform. And uh, now I'm going to do a little fun stuff with it. So I'm going to do a core sample and look at the ArcGIS data. So we'll get in close here if you want to have a closer look. So you can imagine, here we go, I'm going to take my core sample and pull it out. Maybe we'll blow that up. You can see where it came from, which is kind of nice. You don't normally get that. And you can see up here what is in the core sample, the outer layer. But down there, you can see a little more detail. So shortly, we're going to blow this up. In the meantime, we can, you can imagine a bunch of people standing around with their hollow lenses and seeing this whole thing. And now we've got a little bit of bigger idea of what's going on here. And we can get in on the detail. That blue layer we think might be oil. And the layer above it is a salt cap. All the intermediate stuff is kind of useless to us. What we want to do is get that platform boring into that blue one. So you can see what's in the immediate proximity. You can also get inside. And now you have not only a cave experience of uh, what you might find in an oil and gas uh, meeting, but you can also see where it came from. And shortly we'll blow that up even bigger so we can get a little bit more lay of the land. Normally, the oil and gas explorers can only see on the outer periphery of the cave, which doesn't help them that much. This allows you to stand in an interstitial space that wouldn't otherwise exist. So we can use this Boolean function to dig through lots and lots of layers. For right now, we're going to separate out the layers a little bit. See how that looks. See the, how it flows beyond where we can currently see. But in a second here, we'll do even a little more. We can get down here, look down here, see it from a bunch of different angles. But it's that blue layer we're super interested in. So, But it's also pretty cool just to look at the platform. Get in there and blow that up. Might have to wait a moment. But in the meantime, we can enjoy looking a little more deeply into that. The level of detail is pretty impressive. And you can imagine something like this being fit directly in a mudroom on site. Normally, a system like this would require you to have uh, a place where people can co locate. And that's expensive, as you can imagine. So now we just dug it open a little more so we can see the immediate vicinity of the oil layer. So you can imagine using this to fish out the remainder of a brown well as well. You can imagine this being used to uh, steer a borehead. Because now the boreheads don't go straight down. They can go at various angles. You could steer it on the fly in real time, although that might get a little dull. It probably doesn't move real fast. But you can get the sense of this. And that's pretty cool. So in a minute here, we're going to isolate a layer. We're going to isolate that oil layer so we can get a better look at it. So you can see I can see all around me, just so you can know where I was from. So there, we just isolated the blue section, which is the oil, and we can get a sense of where it might be best to drill. Might want to go to the lowest point so we can steer our drill head that direction. But anyway, this is how you might use ArcGIS data to get uh, better results from an oil well, whether it be a brown well, a new well, or a perspective well. So that's it. That's from Jim Reichert. Put that together. Woo hoo hoo. Hey Cortana. Yeah. Stop video. Stop recording.